Hey guys, we are back again with another kind of new type of video. I'm going to be doing a rankings video on all the stuff packs that have come out so far in The Sims 4. When I'm recording this, a Nifty Knitting is not out yet, so it won't be included in this rankings, but if you want to hear my opinion on it, be sure to check out my Twitch stream. I stream using the same name, Alluring Simmer, on Twitch pretty much daily and I most likely will be getting the pack so then you can see what I think of it there. Um, but yeah, this video I'm gonna take all the stuff packs that have come out so far and there are 16 of them and tell you what I think of each one and also tell you where I think they would rank in terms of my opinion and I'm focusing more on the build and buy aspect. In fact, I'm not rating it based on the creative sim at all. I could do that as another video if you guys want to see it, but I feel like there's so many build and buy objects and a lot of people have been getting into like building in The Sims 4, so I feel like from a builder's perspective, I want to share why I think each pack is good or bad or in the middle or just why I think it may or may not be worth it in, in terms of building. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment down below what your favorite stuff pack is, and also what your least favorite stuff pack is, and we can see if we have similar opinions or we're different. You know, everybody's different, everybody has their own views, and I would like to see what you guys think. So thank you guys for checking this video out, and let's get right into it. So. This pack is called My First Pet Stuff Pack and it is well known amongst the community as one of the least favorite packs for most people. One of the main reasons is because in order to use all of the items that came with this pack, you need to own cats and dogs. So if you want to get the full use out of this pack, you need to buy an expansion pack as well, which for a lot of people, including myself, it doesn't really make sense. If I have to buy the expansion pack in order to fully use the stuff pack, then why not just make it part of the expansion pack? Um, it, it just doesn't make sense to me from like a money, <laughs> even from a money standpoint. Yes, you're going to be making more money because a lot of people are going to end up buying cats and dogs because they want to be able to use everything from this pack. And I think it also skews people's thoughts about the items in this pack because maybe if this had all come with pets, or, or cats and dogs in the beginning a lot of people probably would have thought all these items are cute but like now because we're just thinking oh I have to buy a whole expansion pack in order to fully use the stuff pack that I paid for it just feels like scammy in a way and so that's why a lot of people don't want to purchase this pack um, Obviously there are like some cute items if I'm being totally honest. I don't use it in my everyday gameplay and I'm talking about this more from a builder's perspective. So for someone who builds a lot in the game, I don't use a lot of these items. Even if I were to make like a pet room, I can't see myself using these over stuff that came with cats and dogs. Um, which is why I recommend if you like this pack to just get cats and dogs, you don't need these extra add-ons. And again, they're just ex extra add-ons because all these items already exist in cats and dogs. There are cat, or sorry, there are animal toys. There's litter boxes. There's the cat tree. There's the pet beds, um, and they're a little bit more useful in everyday homes as opposed to these ones, which are more kid-friendly. They're good for like a kid's room, but you're not going to use them for like I don't know a young adult sim necessarily. Um, the one gameplay feature that came with this pack was the smaller pets which is why it's called my first pet it came with like hedgehogs and um, rats and a hamster and another pet that I can't remember the name of but it's like a little platypus looking thing um, so you get four different options they all pretty much have the same interactions I don't think they have like a super amount of replay value like it's cute to have for like your little kids but it's not something I use that often so if you're thinking about a stuff pack to purchase I would definitely skip over this one if it's the last pack that you need to complete your collection you still don't really need it 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 has blinds I mean that are pretty usable or versatile in a lot of builds but overall I just don't think it's worth it so the next stuff pack we are going to be talking about is the spooky stuff pack. Okay. 
I definitely think this pack is what it says it is. It's a spooky stuff pack. It came with some cute, which is weird because it's meant to be spooky, but it's definitely like a cute spooky stuff pack. The, the items are like kind of, even though it's it's not really meant to be scary, it's, it's like a cute version of a lot of things that you find in Halloween. Um, they definitely are useful if you want to make like a haunted house or if you want to do some sort of spooky build. Uh, I definitely don't find a lot of use out of this pack. I have used a few of the items, um, especially in conjunction with seasons, because then you actually have the holiday of Halloween so you can celebrate. Um, you can decorate your house with the decorations. You can use the trick or treat bowl and Sims can come over to your house and collect the candy. But for people who are just going to be building, you might not find a lot of use out of this pack because of the nature of the pack. Um, I'm just going to share a few of the little gameplay things. So you see how she went to go grab candy from the bowl and she got tricked, but she still got a little piece of candy at the end. And there's a pumpkin carving station, which is the main gameplay feature. Obviously there's also the candy bowl, but the main gameplay feature was the pumpkin carving. There's like several different types of pumpkin shapes and colors that you your sims can carve. And I don't know, it's a it's a fun activity to do, but I feel like in order to fully immerse yourself with this pack, you kind of need seasons as well, which is why I also rated it kind of low. It, it kind of reminds me of My First Pet stuff in a way. Obviously, to use these items, you don't actually have to buy seasons, but in order to like m make good use of it, seasons just adds to that because um, it just gives you know the extra options it did came it did come with costumes so I mean you don't need seasons in order to get Halloween costumes or anything like that but it just it just adds that extra something the pictures on the wall also change from regular paintings to scary paintings over time um, I think it's like every minute or so they're not doing anything right now so I don't know if it's just me and it's in play mode um, it could just be the fact that we're in play as opposed to like speed. It may just take a little while, but they change from their regular pose to like scary faces, which I think is kind of cool. But overall, you're not going to use these items very often unless you're constantly building haunted houses or spooky builds. Um, or like maybe a sim who just really likes Halloween. Uh, if that's what you're into, then this pack might be for you, but for most people, who are just builders, this is probably not the best pack, which is why I have it at number 14. Okay, so the next pack on the list is the Luxury Party Stuff Pack. The reason why, again, this is rated so low is mainly because of the lack of items. The stuff in the pack is not super horrible. You definitely can use them in your builds. And if we're talking about this from a builder's perspective, there's a lot of different ways you could use these items. But because of the lack of content, considering one, this was the first stuff pack to ever come out, and two, there's just not a lot going on with this pack. I just don't think it's as worth it compared to a lot of other packs that have came out. Um, so the luxury party stuff's main gameplay feature was the chocolate fountain or the fountain where you can change it. You can have drinks, you can have chocolate, you can have a few other things and then there's a banquet table where you can like have a spread of food as I have it displayed here. Um, I do definitely use that a lot for like parties and stuff so if you want it for that gameplay feature then I could see why it'd be worth it. The create a sim item which again I'm not really focused on the create a sim they're cute but again this is more for a builder um, there's just not a lot of content to use which is the main reason why I don't think it's as worth it compared to some other packs that have a lot more build and buy objects um, if you if you're just building houses m mainly I can't really find many uses for these items the chairs are very fancy they definitely have a specific style to them so you're not gonna be able to use them in every type of build the lights they're artsy, they're modern, but again, they don't give off that much light. You're not really going to use it like in an everyday home. Um, so those are the kind of builds you're regularly doing. You wouldn't get much use out of this pack. So that is why luxury party stuff is at number 15. 
The next pack that I'm going to be talking about is the Backyard Stuff Pack, and the reason why I think this pack may not be the best pack for everybody is because there's not a lot of items that you're going to be constantly using. I like the fence because it's like a cute white picket fence, and I don't think there's one in the base game. I could be totally wrong. And it has a nice matching like fence piece, which is good. Um, not fence piece, gate piece. Um, it did come with quite a few like gameplay features. However, in terms of like building, I don't think there's that much going on. We did get quite a few like plants and stuff, but if you see, hold on, sorry. If you see over here, um, the plants that we got are kind of large. Obviously you can size them down and make it so that they're more fitting for your lot, but they just feel like very clunky and I don't think they're really like the the bush that we got with the little flowers on the side like I don't use them at all really because they're just so like round and they they don't fit with every build that you might be doing it's very specific um, I do like the little clutter items that we got I do use the frog a lot for like little splash pads or like cute little builds for kids um, however as a pack that is meant to be things for the backyard, it gave us a lot of things that we already had, including like a, a dining set, we got new umbrellas, I do like the one that has like the clear plastic see-through umbrella which is cool because I don't think we've seen that before. Um, I like the little ladder with the plants, so the clutter is really cute, it's just the actual build by items that you're going to be using a lot more, they're not the most... Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They're not something that I use very often. Um, I will show the gameplay features in case you're interested. So there is this little drink station thing. So you can make lemonade, you can make iced tea. Um, and that's really cute. It, it serves it onto the tray and then you can just grab it as you want. Um, and so it serves six at a time and then once those six are done you can serve another six and then you have to like replace it. So now she's also going to be showcasing the little slip and slide that we have in the back. Um, the main reason why I don't like this item is because it's so large. It It's cool I guess if you want to make like a little water park sort of thing you can make or like a pool and you want to throw that onto like a community lot but in terms of actually using this in your backyard if you look at the backyard space I created, I couldn't put it inside there because it's too large. And most people are building like average size homes, not everyone wants to build a mansion. So it would have been nice to get either smaller water slides or just a small gameplay feature that would work within the confines of this space. We did get a bird feeder which was cool but it's more just like the animation than the actual gameplay. You can pay five simoleons to like purchase seeds and it'll put it in there and then some birds will fly around and then there are some wind chimes which add a cute little sound effect as your sims enter into their homes um, but overall it's just not the best in terms of things that you're going to be using that often. The couch and or the outdoor chairs and stuff are cute but again they're not things you're going to be using that often and there are a lot of other items in the game that you could probably use for your backyard that are a lot better than these ones. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about Backyard Stuff Pack. That is why we have it at number 13. The next pack we are going to be talking about is the Toddler Stuff Pack. Sadly, I don't have a toddler here to demonstrate how the items function. Um, when we first got the pack, the ball pit was actually a lot more flat than it is now, surprisingly. Um, they added a lot more 3D textures because a lot of people were complaining that it felt like they just painted on the little like balls that the toddlers can play in and they just felt like it wasn't it wasn't done <laughs> essentially. So they did fix that. But overall, the main reason why I don't think toddler stuff pack is as good as it could have been is because it's more targeted towards things that you could use in like your backyard. Um, these are things that if toddlers had existed when Backyard Stuff Pack came out, and I don't think that they did, um, they could have been included with, with that because 
a lot of these items, you don't really put them inside your Sims house, if I'm being honest. It did come with a cute little fence that you can use if you want to create like a playpen for your toddlers or something. Um, it has this huge like play place piece that you can put. Um, however, again, this is one of those items that takes up a lot of backyard space. I had to put it outside the fence that I enclosed. Obviously, th the fence that I've created um, for these uh, to showcase these packs. They're not huge, but a lot of the lot sizes aren't huge either So you're not gonna have a lot of space to place an entire play place in your backyard um, is what I'm trying to say I came with these like stump looking things that I literally never use I don't think I've ever used if you have found a use for them Please let me know cuz I I try to make it so they look cute, but they're just not maybe they're just not my style um, the slide is a cute interaction. We got a new barbecue, which didn't really make sense again to me because it's like, what does that have to do with backyards? Again, this barbecue feels like something that could have went with the backyard stuff pack because you barbecue in the backyard. I don't even think we got a grill with the backyard stuff pack now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so that's kind of weird. We also got these director chairs looking, or director chairs. Um, which again, doesn't really make sense to me. I don't see how it fits into the toddler pack. The pillows are cute. I use them a lot, but how often do I actually use them for my toddlers? Not very often. So overall, what I'm trying to say is this pack that's targeted towards toddlers gave us like technically three new items that you can use. Um, and I don't use them that often because of how much space they take up. The slide is, is definitely something that you can fit into your, your backyard and maybe the ball pit separately, but if you want to have the full play place, you're not going to be able to put that in your backyard. Um, so overall, this pack is definitely not the worst. It The reason why I rated it so low is just because there are other packs that are better from a builder's perspective that you're going to use more often. Is It's only nice if you have a huge backyard space and you want to put like a few items for your toddler to do. But again, it didn't come with that many items for toddlers that were like new. Um, and overall, it's just not necessary. I think there's a lot of items that came with the base game update when toddlers. Um, not base game update, but came with a toddler update that you can use. They already have toys. These are just extra things that you can add if you really want to, but it's not a huge need. And it's definitely for someone who's just building. There's not a lot of items that you can use for things other than if you were to have a toddler in your household. So definitely skip out on this if you're not someone who plays with toddlers a lot. If you don't really do gameplay, it's, it's not... It's not really worth it. <laughs> There's not a lot to work with, but that's why we have it at number 12. Let's move on to the next pack. Okay, so the next pack we're going to be talking about is the Sims 4 Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. This is a pack that I don't think is necessarily a bad pack. <laughs> I've been saying this about a lot of them. But it's definitely something that you're not going to use a lot. So a lot of the reason why I'm rating these packs the way I am is more for like the replay value sort of thing. Um, for a builder, you want items that you can use in different kinds of builds all the time. So especially for stuff packs which are meant to target a certain niche, it's hard to find items that you can use in like different builds. Um, without having them only specific to a certain style, if that makes sense. Like, these these items are very specific to a certain kind of style. You're not going to just stick the arch in front of, like, a suburban home, if that makes sense. I mean, you might be able to make it work, but, like, the stone arch in front of, like, a cute country home, <laughs> it just, it won't really make sense, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, I will show the gameplay features, and then I will talk about the pack a little bit more. So she's over here by the fountain or the wishing well. Um, I'll show the fountain in a second and what you can do at the at the wishing well is you can make offerings and then after making the offerings you can make a wish. You can just make a wish as well but making an offering increases your chances of getting what you asked for. I don't even know what I told her to ask for. Mm, but yeah. I think she got what she wanted. I'm gonna show you guys the fountain as well, which was one of the 
major gameplay features. Um, you can also toss coins into the fountain, you can add soap into the fountain, you can play in the fountain, which I think is really cute. You can take a nap in the fountain. Well, I don't think they take a nap in the fountain, but they, they can take a nap. Um, we're going to go back over here so I can show you the rest of the items. We got two fountains. One is one that you can place on the wall and you can see that going right there with the lion. We also got one that you can place on the ground. So personally, I think the items in this pack are really cute. Um, I definitely do use them sometimes if you want to create like a cute little wedding, a cute garden space. These items are really good for that. But in terms of uh, just building an everyday home or something, you're not really going to use them that often. I definitely like the little flowers that you can hang on the walls. I put them on the ground in this little scenario, but you can hang them on the walls. That's what they're made for. This pack also is one of the very few packs. I think it's also the only pack that came with columns. Um, and it also came with like this nice big window. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, then this pack might be the one for you. We also have these like cute little I don't know what they're actually called. They're like little divider things um, that I think are cute. I placed them together like this. They're separate pieces so you can customize it however you want. You could use it as a fence if you wanted to. Um, so there are definitely different ways to use items from the pack. But overall, it's it's definitely not a bad pack. It's, it's worth it for what you get. Um, and you definitely can see exactly what you get. We have uh, Max over here using the monkey bars that comes with the set. There are other ways you can use the monkey bars. You can use them for a gardener sim and have it for different functions as well. So there's definitely a lot of use out of the items other than for what they're meant for. But if you're just taking it as at face value, it's definitely as it definitely is targeting a specific kind of style. So if you're not into this style then this pack not be might not be the one for you. But if you are, then it's a pretty good pack which is why it's somewhat in the middle. We have it rated at number 11. I am showcasing this room from a higher angle because of the amount of items in this pack. I want you to be able to see all of them. Obviously there's stuff on the wall behind the part that I'm showing you currently. So this is definitely not every single item because there's a lot more wall clutter. Um, but this also demonstrates the range of this pack. There are a lot of items in this pack and a lot of options to choose from and you're able to like customize it to the type of um, things that your sims child may be into. Um, so as we're talking about this, I'm going to demonstrate some of the gameplay items. So one of them is a puppet show. Um, which allows your child sims to perform puppet shows. They can perform it just for fun or they can perform it in front of their parents or their friends, um, which is kind of cute. You can add little chairs around and sims will sit and watch the show. Um, it's just an extra interaction for them to do with other, uh, other sims. Um, they also have the Void Critter Battle Station, which is kind of similar to Pokemon. They can battle um, their cards that they collect and they can also trade them with other uh, children. They gave us like posters and little decals to put on the walls to decorate that go with that same set, the Void Critter set. Um, and it also gave us a full bedroom set. It's not very rare for that to happen, but it is pretty rare for that to happen and also for everything to have matching wood tones. Um, if you're someone who builds a lot, you will understand the struggle to find wood tones that match. Um, sometimes even in the same pack, it's hard to find wood tones that match. So this pack is definitely spot on with that. You may notice I have them all in the brown wood tone, but if you switch the, the, the tone of the wood or the color of the wood, they'll still all match, which is kind of nice. And there's a lot of options for each item. There's also a few colorful swatches if that's what you're into. So there definitely is a lot of range to this pack, and I definitely can see this pack getting a lot of use. Um, I definitely use that computer chair quite a bit, even if it's not a kid, I just like that chair style. Um, and we got an ottoman, there's a dresser, there are two kinds of bookshelves, and there's a lot of like wall clutter, which I think is nice for a kid's pack. Um, I rated this a, a little bit higher than the taller stuff pack. I'm just going to use that for comparison. 
The toddler stuff pack gave us stuff for toddlers, but it was very limited in the things that we got. Um, and it's definitely targeted more towards things that toddlers can do outside. This thing gave us a lot of things that children can do both inside and outside. And the items are a lot more scaled down, including like the puppet theater. It only takes up like two tiles, I think. I think it only takes up one tile, actually. Um, and then we had the Void Critter Battle Station, which takes up... It takes up like one tile, but like the Sims will be sitting on either side, so you can say it takes up three tiles, but at the same time, this room is not super large, now still able to show you all the items from the pack and also demonstrate how you could use it as a bedroom um, and have all the items available in it. Uh, so this is why I rated this pack at number nine, um, so definitely one of my top ten out of the 16 packs we have. It Okay, so coming in at number 8, we have the Bowling Night Stuff Pack. Um, this might come as a surprise that this pack is rated so high, but in terms of building, the, yes, there's a lot of items that are targeted towards a sim who likes to bowl. There's definitely a lot of clutter that is specifically targeted towards bowling. Like we have the bowling shoes, we have the little rack with the bowling trophies, we have the bowling wall clutter, but there are a lot of items that are definitely giving me mid-century modern vibes or like retro vibes. So if that's the kind of style that you're into, then this might be the pack for you. Um, but there's also like a lot of neutral swatches. So even if you're not into the retro style, there are a lot of color options that might make it so it's more versatile and like useful to you. I really like the divider. It definitely has like a futuristic kind of feel to it because of the glow and stuff. And the little bar has like a soda stream station thing. It's not actually functional as like a soda machine, but it is a cute touch to the actual clutter. I'm gonna see if I can display it without showing other things. I'm so sorry for the poor like camera angles. Hold on, let's see if I can, it won't let me, hold on. There you go, just so we can see it from the other side. Um, this is what it looks like so definitely would recommend even if you're not someone who's super into bowling i think that the items that came with this pack are really good um i just thought i'd mention it even though i'm talking about the stuff packs if you're someone who's into mods or cc peacemaker uh hyphen ic on tumblr made a set that added a bunch of extra items so like a bowling night stuff pack add-ons pack and if you're someone who plays the mods or custom content in your game, that might be something that's of interest to you. If you feel like there's not enough to the pack, it adds like a whole extra... It, it's pretty much a whole other stuff pack. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I just thought I'd mention it. I'll have a link in the description down below, so if you are interested in checking that out, you can. But if you aren't, I still think that there's enough items in this pack that you can find use out of. Um, I will have her show you what the bowling looks like in just one second. I have it outside because, you know, um, there is not a lot of space in here for a bowling rack. So, oh. I mean that's fine if you can see that we've already we've already shown those packs. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and you can see her bowling. It's definitely a fun task for your Sims to do. Um, I don't know why I said task when it's more of a game. You can have I think you can have quite a bunch of Sims playing at the same time, which is good. If you place little couches at the end, your Sims will take a seat in between the rounds. There is a skill attached to bowling. Um, so again, for people who are more into the gameplay, this is definitely a fun extra thing for your Sims to do. But if you're just into um, doing like uh, building, then you could build a bowling alley if you really wanted to. And if you don't want to build a bowling alley, there's still a lot of furniture in this pack that you can use in just regular builds. Um, so that is why we have it at number <laughs> eight. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the next stuff pack we are going to be talking about is the fitness stuff pack. Um, I feel like a lot of people kind of have like mixed feelings about this pack. A lot of people don't necessarily like the build and buy items from this pack. I do. Um, I think it's definitely a new kind of style to the things that we're used to getting from a lot of the stuff packs, but I definitely can find 
use for these items. I really like the glass concept for a lot of the pieces. You can see they have the glass like in the bookshelf, in the tables, like the coffee table, the side table, the dining table. There's definitely a lot of like glass. It has a very modern feel. It gave us two, sorry, two new windows and then a new door and they're all at tall or medium to tall wall height so it's kind of nice because we don't get that very often. We got a whole bathroom set with a toilet, sink, shower, bathtub, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, and we also got a new gameplay item. Right now I'm just showing you the workout equipment that we got and it definitely has like a more modern sleek look than the regular fitness equipment that we get in like base game. Um, you also have the option to use the TV to do workouts. Obviously that's not related to build and buy, but if that's something you're interested in, it does make working out a little bit more easier for your sims. But in terms of the items, I just think it gave us like a whole new style that were it, like it's modern, but it's it's like a little bit more chic. <laughs> it's like modern chic. Um, and it makes builds a, a lot more interesting. For example, like the way I set it in this room is definitely a way that you could use it in your builds, like using the end table as beside the chair, um, using like the coffee table with the little lounger piece. It's definitely actually just like a regular couch, like the way it functions, but it does look like a nice little lounger. Um, we're gonna head outside so I can show you guys the rock climbing station. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. She's gonna come out here one second. I don't know why she took her clothes off. She keeps doing that. Hold up, girl. Oh, is she gonna put on a workout outfit? Okay. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so she is gonna set it up right now. It's gonna kind of go into the wall because of how close I placed it. I think the one reason why I don't necessarily like this item that much, and I haven't really used it that often, is it's only really functional if you're like building a gym or you have like an extremely large house where you place it outside because it is really large. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I have this wall height at the tallest wall height and it's still taller. It doesn't look like it right now because it's at an incline, but when it's standing up straight, it is taller than the tallest wall height. So it's definitely a larger piece, which is why I don't see a lot of people using it that often, but it is cool. It's a fun extra thing for your sims to do, but in terms of actually needing it, it's not super important. Um, one thing I wasn't able to mention earlier because it wasn't really showing in the build, but you can see it through the window are the lights that came with this pack are amazing. There's they have them at three different wall heights, so no matter what, no matter how tall your walls are, you're able to use them and not have to worry about like bringing them up or down. Um, so that might be something that's of interest to you. If you're into fitness or if you're into modern style, then this is going to be the pack for you, which is why I have it at number seven. Seven? <laughs> number seven. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have the mosquito stuff pack otherwise known as the mosquito stuff pack um it's it's definitely one of those packs that is like a hit or miss for some people a lot of people were like oh the creative sim stuff is not that great but we're not talking about creative sim stuff right now okay we're talking about the build and buy stuff and in terms of build and buy i think this pack although it may be like limited in the amount of items we got it definitely is worth it if then it's also good for gameplay. Um, so let me just talk about why. First of all, these windows are amazing. I use them so often, uh, especially for modern style homes. They are definitely a good option to use if you're someone who's normally into CC. I notice a lot of people who use CC like these types of windows, and it's nice to have them in game. Maybe like. Well, if I can get them with CC, why am I gonna purchase a stuff pack to use them? Well, let me tell you why. Um, the gameplay feature that came with this was a complete rework of how photography works and I think it's worth it to purchase the pack just for the photography itself but I'll also talk about the build and buy items because that's what we're here to talk about. Um, there aren't a 
like a ton of build and buy items because I feel like they're trying to focus on the photography aspect but we did get a new like couch we got a new armchair a new coffee table and side table um, we got two new wallpapers we got a new door that goes really well with the windows we have a new art pieces we have a new mirror new bookshelf and they're all very modern which is definitely a, a style of build that I see a lot of people use um, so if that's something you're into this might be again the pack for you if you're someone who likes to play around with photography and the sims 4 this is definitely good for you because you no longer need another sim to take photos for you you can just use the tripod and have sims take photos with groups of up to three your sims can take photos carrying their toddlers they can take photos carrying their pets and it's really cute and there's like a huge array of poses you can choose from now so you can select how they pose as opposed to having them like just to have the same default poses you have to cycle through until you get the right one you can do that but it's it's much more efficient and there's much more options um because you can choose it based on mood as opposed to just choosing a bunch of random poses depending on what their mood currently is um we also got digital photo frames so the photos are changing every so often we got another frame that you can display up to three photos at a time and we got a new stereo so some people may look at this and not think that there's a lot of items going on but i think that there is and i feel like getting four new types of windows getting two new wallpapers and getting a complete rework of how photography works is worth it. We, I'm just gonna go outside for a second so you guys can see. There's also one more backdrop that comes with the game. There's two inside and then this one. This one you can change in build and buy mode and the other ones you can change in live mode. You can like change the little um, videos that you see going on in the background and these are just a demonstration of the doors. They're sliding doors which is cool. We don't have a lot of those so it's nice to have an extra one. Um, and overall I think that the stuff pack is worth it for the build and buy objects alone. Um, which is why I have it at number six. We are now about to get into our top five. I just want to say if you made it this far, I appreciate you guys checking this out. I'm hoping that what I'm saying about these packs helps you decide whether or not you may or may not want to purchase a pack. Um, because that's the point of this. I don't think that there's any pack except for my first pet stuff that is really that terrible. <laughs> but there may be certain packs that may appeal to you more because that's that's the purpose of stuff packs in my opinion. I'm pretty sure that's what the gurus have said, that the stuff packs are meant to target a certain niche. Not every stuff pack is going to be for every person, but if it's something you're interested in, then you might want to get that pack. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to move on to the next pack now. Okay, so... We are now on to our top 5 Sims 4 stuff packs, or at least my top 5 Sims 4 stuff packs, which is a question I get a lot, especially on stream, like, what are your favorite packs? If you want to know, now's the time when you're about to know. These are my top 5 favorite stuff packs, starting with Perfect Patio Stuff at number 5. Um, the reason why I have it rated so high is because this is a stuff pack that I can find a lot of versatility for. Um, obviously this is a pack that is meant to be used outdoors, but I definitely use these items inside my homes a lot. Um, an example would be the counters. They may not have matching cabinets because they're meant to be used indoors, but there are some cabinets in game that have similar color schemes that you can use if you want to use it as a kitchen set. Um, it came with a new barbecue, it's very sleek and modern. We got a lot more... not okay, I can't really say a lot. We got a few clutter items including a plant and like some stuff related to like the grill. And then we got some like floor clutter here. And these little... Um, I was gonna say these little... These little pieces on the floor, they light up, so that's pretty sick. And we got a glass, um, a glass umbrella table, patio table. Uh, we also got over here, we have this coffee table, and I placed the ottoman underneath it just so it would fit in with this build. I mean, you could do that because I kind of like how it looks, and I might end up doing that at some point. But I just wanted to share that, like, we got an ottoman, and I love ottomans. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that, I don't think I did. We also got a, a couch, so we got like a three-seater, a love seat, and an armchair that are all matching, 
which is rare that we get it where they're all the same um it's definitely meant to be patio furniture so like outdoor furniture but i use them inside all the time they definitely work as like good modern looking couches uh the tables that you use for these um or sorry, the chairs that you can use for the outdoor tables can also be used indoors. I'm pretty sure I'm missing the, the dining table that matches with this set. So there is, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure that there's a dining table that's like pretty long and it goes with these chairs. So that's another item that came with this pack. And of course the main gameplay feature was the hot tubs. We now do have hot tubs in base game. So if you want it just for the hot tubs there is one that's in the base game but it's not as pretty um so i would definitely <laughs> recommend this pack because again you get two different styles of hot tubs look at that grill i got purple flames i didn't even know that i use this grill all the time but i never actually look at them when they're cooking but look at those purple flames that is pretty sick okay and we also got a bar which i built in with those um with the island piece over there so and a fountain um and a fence and a gate <laughs> i don't know why i'm mentioning these things so late but i just think overall that this pack is something that you can use a lot and you can use it for different parts of the house you can use them in a backyard you can use some of these things in a kitchen you can use some of these things in a living room a dining room it pretty much covers everything except for like a bedroom and an office space so that is why i have it at number five because i love it and it's so versatile and we are going to move on now. Okay, so for this next stuff pack, um, I'm starting outside and then moving in. I don't know why I chose to showcase the dustiest swatches out of all of them. There are definitely a lot more colorful and cuter options for the, the doors, but I decided to, ooh, what we doing? <laughs> My bad. I decided to showcase the ugliest swatches I possibly could. I mean, the door on the right doesn't look so bad, but the door on the left definitely looks a lot worse than it could. There are more colorful options um, if that's what you're interested in. Uh, let's get into the build and buy of movie hangout stuff, um, which we have in number four. This pack definitely has a very bohemian style, and I think the reason why a lot of people were disappointed or uninterested in this pack is because a lot of people wanted a movie pack where we could actually go to a movie theater and this pack is definitely targeted towards sims staying home and watching a movie which is why we got like a popcorn machine that you would have like in your house and we got a dining set and we got a little lounge set um like a living room set so i actually originally had the chair inside to showcase it to you but i moved it outside so you guys can now see the movies in full swing um in case that's something you're interested in seeing when determining whether or not you want to buy this stuff pack um it came with like a lot of clutter in my opinion we got like a lot of wall items like paintings and movie posters and those little um hanging succulents which i love to use regardless of the style of the build i'm doing and just a little tip that i'm throwing in there if you place a shelf with like a matching wood tone and they do exist because I've done it before um, you can actually place little items and it looks like it's sitting on top of the little hanging um, plants and it looks super cute just use move objects on um, the move objects on cheat to have it like blend in with the existing shelf um, we also got oh this is one thing I thought was really cool we got this table and it has a mirror on it that might not be something that's interesting to everybody, but I think it's pretty cool. And to go along with all these colorful swatches, we also have some neutral swatches. So if you're not interested in all the bright colors, there's a neutral swatch for every single item in the pack. Um, the curtains that we have on the wall, there are like four swatches that are just like plain colors. So if you, again, if you're not interested in like having a lot of patterns and stuff, there are neutral uh, toned swatches as well. So we're going to move outside because I want to show you guys one of the most beautiful things that came in this pack and that is this wonderful tree. Um, let me just move it up a little bit so you guys can see it comes with like these hanging lanterns so you could sit out here, place a tree like how I have it here and then your sims can sit outside and have a movie night. Um, you definitely can use this to create your own movie theater if you wanted to because obviously we didn't get it with this pack. But it is nice to like have your sims go outside and watch a movie. They can sit inside their house and watch a movie. And 
Just so you know, you don't have to use these big screens if that is something you're interested in. You can just use the TVs and it gives you the option to watch movies on those as well. So don't worry about the fact that like these screens are like huge. How am I going to use this in my build? Um, well, one thing I could mention is in comparison to the water slides that I hate from the backyard stuff pack, these things are quite small. They are tall in height, but they're only like four tiles wide or four or five tiles. Um, maybe a little bit more, but again, they don't take up as much space as that slide does. Um, so that's all that matters. We will move on to the next pack. Uh, okay. So coming in at number three, sorry, coming in at number three, hopefully to no surprise is the laundry day stuff pack. The reason why this is one of my top three is because it's a pack that I use a lot. There are a lot of items that you can use regardless of whether or not you use laundry in your game because it's definitely, it, it has a certain style. It's definitely fit towards more like country style homes or like more rustic looking homes. However, I do use the items a lot so I thought that I would share um, why it's my top three. Okay, so I started outside so I can showcase the fact that we got two new doors one has the blinds option on it and one does not we're gonna head inside <laughs> i did that rather quickly i'm so sorry okay so on the ceiling you may see that i have the the ceiling lights that came with this pack which is like a single light bulb this is definitely a very minimalistic pack which is kind of nice um it's very quaint we got eight um she's about to leave because she's done with us all she aloe ring okay you need to get your ass back into <laughs> back into this room and demonstrate the laundry okay I'm gonna just leave her where she is um, so we got like a lot of wicker items we got a few cleaning supply clutter items we got a lot of like pastel colored items including the washing machine and the dryer yes I said it we have pastel a pastel palette for this pack which is very nice um because we don't get that quite often the laundry machines have like some neutral tones but they also have like some pastel pinks purples blues greens whatever you're interested in it's there for you um and it's not like too in your face about it because you know pastel makes it light and bright you know what i'm saying <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we did get a lot of rugs, as I was saying before. We got a few, like, rope-style rugs. And then we got a stacked rug, which is something that I don't think we get that often. We got it with the Taller Stuff pack, but I can't think of another pack that has it where, like, the three rugs are already pre-stacked for you. Um, you can also- I think you can stack the rugs again with this pack in different ways, depending on when you place them. Um, which is nice and we do get a full dining table we get a full like living room kind of set and we also get two new sinks which is nice um so from a builder's perspective i feel like there's a lot of items going on like there's a lot of options and things that you can use in multiple different kinds of builds obviously the clutter and stuff that are related to laundry you may not use if you don't want to if you don't want to have laundry in your build but even if you're not going to use the items like the washing machine and the dryer you can still use the clutter just to make your house feel more realistic so that's why i rated this um pack so highly and also because i just use it a lot and there's different ways to use the items um and then on here like on this side of the wall i'm just going to showcase there's a lot of plants that came in this pack so if you're someone who's into plants there's quite a few um in terms of like little clutter pieces that are connected to other ones if that makes sense so like the shelf on the wall has that little basket with a plant in it it's all one piece but it's it's still a plant um and we got like the little hutch thing for like your clothes so you can put it by the front door we got a little basket shelf we got these cute little candles that i have sitting in the corner and then outside i also had the clothing line inside we have the washing like the washboards which is functional if you want to have an off the grid um lot so you can still do your laundry and you don't have to worry about using electricity um so if that is something you're interested in you should definitely check this out even if laundry is not your thing the style of the pack is very cute and you can definitely find different ways to use the items from this pack 
So we are now moving on to number two. Okay. We are now on pack number two. Sorry. We are now on pack number two, the lovely, amazing, vintage glamour stuff. Um, the reason why I rated this pack so high is because I feel like I use this pack all the time. I rave about it on my stream all the time. <laughs> Some people may know because I literally... I am a stan for this pack. Um, again, my top three might not be everyone's taste, but the reason why I rated this so high is because I feel like one, we got so many items with this pack, two, it gave us a lot of different styles, so even if you're not someone who's into vintage glamour, we also got a lot of modern style items in this pack that you can use in your builds. Um, we got the first and only mirror in the game to have mirrors at every single wall height that reach the top of the roof and I'll just showcase that so you can see it with the tall wall height um obviously because these walls are at a tall wall height I can't showcase how the rest of them reach the top of the wall but you can see it there um the little extra piece that they attach to the top makes it so that it reaches right at the top of the ceiling and I love it it's amazing it comes in a bunch of different colors um so you can change it up based on the style and color scheme of your build. We got a little bar cart um, decor piece that again has like the mirror on top of it. Uh, we have a divider. We have two different styles of beds. We have two different styles of the vanity table that my sim is using right now. You can do your makeup at it. Um, child sims can play with makeup at it, which is kind of cute. Um, we got two, a lot of new lighting pieces, I don't know, I was gonna say two, but we got like four different kinds of lights, um, including the chandelier piece that I have displayed here. We also got, um, quite a few, like, seating options, including the, like, chairs, there's two styles for, like, one's for desk and one's for, like, dining tables, however, we didn't get a dining table, which I think is kind of weird. Um, but overall, I just think this pack is really cute. We got a lot of like clutter options. It came with two wallpapers, one I have on majority of the walls and then one I just have on the back wall over there and there's a lot of different color options for that. We got pretty much a whole bedroom set with like a dresser, nightstand, um, vanity table, chair, coffee table, like there's a lot going on and you may be able to see it in the mirror but we also got a fireplace and i think this stuff pack is the only one that came with a fireplace so if that is something you're interested in then you should definitely check this pack out we also got the wall clock and it came with the new npc the butler i definitely will not say that i use a butler that often because i don't but in terms of build and buy these objects are very versatile they come with regular neutral tones you may notice that in this build i only have the neutral tones showcase but there are also some colorful tones if that's what you're interested in um i also didn't mention that it comes with windows as well nice big modern windows um which again this is why i'm showcasing this pack as my number two because i feel like it gave us two different styles so if you're someone who's not into the vintage glamour stuff there's still like things that can just fit into a regular modern build and if you are really into that then you have another extra style extra straw you have another extra style that you can use as well so um that is why we have this pack at number two we are moving on to the last and final pack as well as the best pack out of all the ones that we have so far in my personal opinion now, if you're a deductive okay. Now, if you're a deductive person who can kind of figure out, considering all the packs I've talked about so far, and there's one that's missing, then you'll know exactly which one's my top one, top number one pack out of all the Sims Four stuff packs. Also, if you use this pack a lot, then you'll know just by the door and by the little couch that you can see that my number one stuff pack is the tiny living stuff pack and i will tell you why we are about to enter in first of all it comes with a door so i mean if you're interested in that that's pretty cool it has like these cool windows going on in the door um we didn't get windows which is kind of sad but we did we did get a cute door okay <laughs> let's settle um the tiny living stuff pack is also the most is it the most recent 
I think it's the most recent stuff pack to be released. Um, and if it isn't, then I apologize for giving you false information. Um, but as of when I'm recording this, I'm pretty sure it's the most recent. The reason why I rated this as my number one is because no matter what kind of builder you are, I think you will find use out of this pack. Reason being, if you're someone who wants to build a tiny home and live out your tiny home dreams, this pack has a lot of smaller items or items that can fit into smaller spaces. Many of the items fit only on one tile. In fact, I think all of them do except for like the couch and the Murphy bed um, and like the TV. But like y m every single item t doesn't take up more than three tiles besides the Murphy bed because it has to take up the regular amount that a bed would take. Um, and the reason being is because with this pack, you also get the option to actually build a tiny home um and you have like three options in terms of whether you want a micro home or like a somewhat small home um and those different options will provide your sim with different um not your sim but it will give different rewards so like if your your sims house is really small then they might pay less bills so if that's something you're interested in if you're someone who's really into gameplay then that might be a reason for you wanting to get this pack Another thing I want to mention is that the items in this pack are just really cute and like sleek and modern um, but also kind of like they're modern but they're like mid-century modern if that makes sense. Um, we have like the glass tables, we have like a nice bar stool, oh my god it's so beautiful and like the table that we got is like this, it's a small dining table at a taller height than most other dining tables we get so you can place the bar stools next to it as opposed to like regular dining chairs which is nice and you could also use these bar stools with other bars if you wanted to um we got the murphy bed which makes it so that you can have a living room and bedroom all in one you can place this in your, your in your living room as long as you have enough tile space between the couch and like a TV if you wanted that or a bookshelf in front of it although I don't see why you need that when you can attach a bookshelf to the Murphy bed um there's a lot of slots in the the bookshelf as well which I know is nicer builders who want to add clutter and stuff you can even see through the little glass panel at the bottom so that gives you room to like add stuff in there we got a lot of like small clutter items that are really cute some stuff goes on the wall some stuff are things that you can place on like the dresser for example these candles we got like a cute little table lamp and if it will allow me to rotate the way i want to which it won't so we'll just go the other way i can showcase we also got a nice toilet and sink um we didn't get a shower which i think is kind of weird but I mean there are showers in base game, all the showers take up one tile unless they have a bathtub featured with it as well. So you know, you don't really have to worry about it taking up too much space. Um, so yeah, that's why- oh, I forgot one thing. We also got a lot of lighting options including, again we got these lamps and these also are featured at different uh, ceiling heights so if you want it at a small wall height, a tall wall height, or a medium wall height, they are there for you. We got two TV options, one hangs on the wall and one is one that sits on the floor and I put the little nightstand underneath just to show how compact this pack is. We got a rug, we got a little poof, it's just everything is so cute and tiny and small and all the wood tones match and it's very colorful but it's also neutral if you want it to be and I could go on and on about this pack. But I won't because it speaks for itself <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, because it was really fun to do and share like my thoughts on all of the packs if you want to see more videos like this like more reviews let me know in the comments what you want me to review next I can do game packs or I can do um, expansion packs if that's something you're interested in we can talk about create a sim and like more gameplay in the next one if that's something you want to hear as well because I, I do gameplay as well so I, I know how the things work. I just wanted to share it from a builder's perspective because we don't see that as often. Most times it's like a quick overview of everything. I want to talk more in depth for people who only build in the game or people who want to get into building in the game and you want to know which stuff packs are worth it in terms of build and buy objects. 
Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. And feel free to comment down below again what is your favorite stuff pack, what is your least favorite stuff pack, and what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. I appreciate all the feedback and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <music>